Hello, hello, hello. This is Max Mora coming to you with another story from the Tokyo Reporter, and this one is a doozy. It's salacious. It involves a 33 year old female reporter for the Nihon Keizai Shimbun, or the Nikkei, which is like the Wall Street Journal of Japan. She was arrested the other day on suspicion of stalking another male reporter. So let's get started. Hmm. Well, uh, so this again is from the Toku Reporter. And um, if you don't go to TokyoReporter.com, you can always find his stories on his Twitter, which is right here. And um, let's see, we'll just navigate down and we'll take a look. This was original story. Nikkei Reporter accused of stalking married rival. And this came out a couple days ago on September 4th. So right here um nikkei reporter accused of stalking married rival by tokyo reporter staff on september 4th 2024 tokyo tokyo metropolitan police have arrested a 33 year old female reporter for the nihon keizai shimbun on suspicion of stalking a male reporter from another newspaper reports the fuji news network on august 29th according to the police aoi Hanzawa, a reporter in the paper's economic and social security group, sent messages such as, I want to see you, to the male reporter, aged in his 30s, on 64 occasions between August 17th and 25th, using the chat function of the app PayPay. Hmm, maybe I need to check that one out. Well, here is Aoi Hanzawa. Not bad. Okay. Upon her arrest for violating the Stalking Prevention Act, Hanzawa partially denied the charges, saying, I don't acknowledge this because I thought my feelings were acceptable to him. Yes. Prior to her arrest, Hanzawa had reportedly received multiple warnings from police over the past year. The Nikkei commented, We deeply regret the arrest of one of our employees. We will take strict action as soon as the facts are clarified. Okay, well, what do we have? It's like um, a sitcom that I used to watch all the time. Uh, married with children, married with three children. Now, what was left out of that report by the Fuji News Network is that the two were in fact dating. This despite him being married with three children. Given his status, some wonder why she has been singled out, says the online site for the weekly tabloid, the Shukan Shincho. Their relationship was well known amongst political reporters covering Nagata Cho, that's um, the government uh, area, the beat for both of them. A social affairs reporter for another paper tells Shincho that Hanzawa moved from the Mainichi Shimbun in Osaka um, to the Nikkei last year. Meanwhile, her boyfriend was in the political department of the rival paper. The two were covering the same subjects, such as the prime minister and the Heisei research department, the source says. After moving to Nikkei, she was assigned to the Economic and Social Security Group and was in charge of the Ministry of Finance. Meanwhile, he was transferred from the political department to the economic department at the rival paper during the same period. Obviously, he denied the relationship when asked, but that runs counter to what is widely known. Yes. Okay. Um... Mysterious documents stating that the two were having an affair were circulated and it became known to both companies, continues the aforementioned source, which was not me, because if it was, they would have flubbed it up again. Okay. Well, what's the next one? Oh, I want to see you. That's right. The magazine wonders, why couldn't they just part ways cleanly? The answer is that she was agonized by the thought of letting him go. That desperation is clearly revealed in the 64 messages that Hanzawa sent to him. I want to die. Don't leave me alone. I want to see you. I hope those um, quotes don't get me um, age restricted. Um, There are also rumors that at one point, Hanzawa was so upset that she confronted his wife. Ooh la la. Given the um, existence of, uh, oh, here's a nice picture. Um, The existence of the relationship, 
the same social affairs reporter says that both parties should bear responsibility for the trouble. Yes, it takes two to tango. Even if the stalking was real, one was handed over to the police and reported by name, while the other continues to work as if nothing had happened, the same reporter says. Shortly after the news of Hanazawa's arrest, a bylined article by him appeared on the front page of the morning edition of the newspaper to which he belongs. Normally, they would have removed him if they considered the timing. How could they let that run? What a company, the social affairs reporter says. Oops, outed. So, there you have it. Um, kind of like this. So, um, well, how do you like them apples? There's a story. Uh, maybe we can follow it a bit more. I, I do remember there was a, I think there was a, um, there was an analyst at Goldman Sachs. Um, this is a few years ago, and I'll find the article. I think she used to appear in adult videos, and uh, that was kind of a sensational story. Um, maybe even better, but no, it's not the same person, unfortunately. Yep, so that's all for me. Um, it's Friday. It's uh, September 6th, 2024. So we're heading into the weekend here in Tokiholio. So I hope you all have a great, safe, and relaxing weekend. Take care.